What is going on everybody? Brandon here, aka Brawatis, and my sick ass is here to tell you guys. Not sick as in cool, but sick as in like I'm actually feel like I'm just gonna pass out and die on the chair. But I'm here bringing you guys my fourth video of the day. Today's video, I just wanna go over why the Oklahoma City Thunder need to trade Russell Westbrook despite him saying he does not want to be traded. Okay, so if you guys haven't been living under a rock for the past couple weeks, the second Kevin Durant left OKC, rumors, rumors, rumors. Russell Westbrook needs to be traded. Oklahoma City will trade Russell Westbrook. Teams are calling for Russell Westbrook. Teams have offered blah, blah, blah for Russell Westbrook. His name has been all over the trade mill, okay? It's been weeks. I just made a video a couple of days ago. You know, which uh, trade offers can intrigue Oklahoma City most for them to part ways with Russell Westbrook? You know, everybody's talking about it. Right after I make that video, okay, just a couple of days ago, the newest rumor has hit the block. Russell Westbrook has stated that he does not want to be traded. He does not. Russell Westbrook does not want to be traded. He wants to play the year out in OKC. So, you know, all the comments on my last video about the trade packages for Russell Westbrook were, dude, he doesn't want to be traded. He doesn't want to be traded anymore, blah, blah, blah. Okay, now here's where... This video, why I'm making it, why the Oklahoma City Thunder must trade Russell Westbrook despite him not wanting to be traded. Do you know what comes after his statement of, I don't want to be traded? His statement doesn't go, I don't want to be traded and I'll re-sign after this season. His statement doesn't go, I don't want to be traded and I'm going to be an Oklahoma City Thunder past this year. No. His statement cuts off as, I want to play out the year in OKC. His statement cuts off at, I don't want to be traded right now. He has he, he does not want to negotiate a contract extension right now. He wants to play it out, and he wants to see his offers at the end of the year. Okay? Now, there could be increasing hope, increasing optimism that he stays in OKC if he does not get traded, but there is no sure answer. And correct me if I'm wrong, but the Oklahoma City Thunder might be a little hesitant to take that risk because, like I said just a couple of weeks ago, what happened when they took that risk? Here's Durant. Here's Oklahoma City. Gone. Durant's gone. Okay? So I understand Russell Westbrook does not want to be traded. I understand he came out and he said he'd like to play the season with OKC. But at the end of the day, this would be a team decision. Uh, what is best for the team? If Russell Westbrook came out and said, hey, you know, Sam Presti, GM of the uh, Oklahoma City Thunder, please don't trade me. I would not like to be traded. And I will re-sign with you guys at the end of this season. Or we can negotiate a contract right now, contract extension, and I'll be signed multi-years. Multi-years with you guys. That's different. Then obviously you don't trade him because Russell Westbrook is a superstar. He is up there with LeBron James. He is up there with Steph Curry. He is up there with Kevin Durant. He is a top five player in this league. He's an MVP caliber player. And you never want to trade those. You never want to trade those. But look what happens when you hold on to those types of players. LeBron, his last year in Cleveland a couple years back. Could you imagine what they could have got in a trade? If they traded him rather than him leaving to Miami. Kevin Durant leaves OKC just this year, goes to Golden State. Could you imagine what they could have gotten a trade if they had known and they had traded Kevin Durant before he left for nothing? I understand you don't want to trade those players. These type of players are one in a million. They're hard to come by. It's once in a generation types of players. But at the end of the day, you have to do what's best for the team. And especially, even if the whole Kevin Durant situation didn't happen, if Kevin Durant was never a member of the Oklahoma City Thunder, if Kevin Durant did not exist on planet Earth, they still would have had to do this. It makes it even more so that they just went through this. The city, the organization, the team just went through their best player leaving for nothing. So while I understand it's easy to get fooled, oh, uh, Westbrook said he doesn't want to be traded. You know, obviously they're not going to trade him. You have to do what's best for the team. If Russell Westbrook is not promising a contract extension, if he's saying, hey, I don't want to be traded, but 
I'm going to look at other offers at the end of the season. I'm not saying I'm going to leave. I'm not saying I'm going to come back. But don't trade me. It's just too risky. You cannot lose in back-to-back -back years. Russell Westbrook and Kevin Durant. Do you know how much that would set the franchise back? You can't do that. So, is the answer different from Russell Westbrook? A couple weeks ago, you had heard nothing from his mouth except I will not, I will not sign a contract extension anywhere this year. I'm going to wait till next year and sign as a free agent. Is his answer different now to saying I don't want to be traded? Yes, the answer is different, but the outcome still has to remain the same. It has to remain the same. I saw that rumor. I still made the video about the trade packages. I see the comments on my videos. Dude, Westbrook said he doesn't want to be traded. Yo, Brawadis, Westbrook said he doesn't want to be traded. I get that. I see that. But at the end of the day, if he says he doesn't want to be traded and then he throws in, he throws in, but I'm going to weigh my options at the end of the year. Even if he throws in, I'll give increasing consideration to Oklahoma City, but I'm also going to field other offers. It's just too risky. Trade him. Get what you could back in a trade. Because trust me, in a trade for Russell Westbrook, I don't care that he only has one more year left on his contract. You're going to get a big return. You might not get as big of a return as if he had four or five years left. It does not matter. One year, two years, the dude is an MVP player. You're going to get a big return for him. And also, I get he loves OKC. I get he has a chip on his shoulder, and he's a competitor. So now he hears the people saying, oh, OKC is not going anywhere without Durant. He wants to prove that he could. I get that. But at the end of the day, Oklahoma City without Durant is not a championship contender. In my head, they're a playoff team. In my head, that... A lot of people think they're going to go to shit without Durant. I don't believe that. I think they're still a playoff team with Westbrook, Oladipo, Cantor, they, Steven Adams. I think they're a playoff team in the West, maybe a 6th, 7th, maybe even a 5th. Does, does Russell Westbrook want to stay with a middling playoff team? That's basketball purposes. Then you look at lifestyle. Does he want to stay in Oklahoma over Los Angeles, over New York? over Miami, over Boston. Does he want to stay in Oklahoma? I get if you wanted to stay in Oklahoma if they were competing for championships, yeah, then you kind of sacrifice the lifestyle because you're playing for rings. But you kind of have to put two and two together and you kind of have to sit down if you're Sam Presti and you think. Russell Westbrook told me he doesn't want to be traded, but that's where he cut it off. He didn't give me any extra that he's going to come back. And that's where you sit down and you just got to pull the trigger on the trade. I get he does not want to be traded, but you got to do it if you're OKC. Anyways, I just wanted to get that out of the way because a lot of people were attacking me like, bro, he said he doesn't want to be traded. Didn't you hear that rumor? Yes, I did. But it doesn't change my answer and it shouldn't change the answer of the Oklahoma City Thunder. I feel like shit. I'm super sick if you guys can't tell by my voice. And let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Not about my sickness, but about the situation.